Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We are ready. You are ready. Yes, ma'am. Okay. A very good afternoon, children. A very good afternoon. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Great. So, children, today we are going to start a new topic that is Ayurveda, science of life. I hope you all have turned to page sixty-eight. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, the chapter number is forty-three. Topic is Ayurveda, science of life. Right? Yes, ma'am. Give me a second. Yes. Here it is. So Ayurveda literally means the science of life. See, literally the meaning of Ayurveda is science of life. Why? Because Ayur means life and Veda means science. So Ayurveda means life, science of life. Okay? It is an ancient medical science. Which was developed in India thousands of years ago, right? So it is like medical sciences were advanced, you know, taken a leaps and bounds, right? It has taken a jump. Now lots and lots of new medicines are there. If you have any problem, you can have those allopathic medicines and all, but. Ayurveda, when these medicines does not exist, it did not exist. Sorry, when these medicines did not exist at that time, you know, people used to cure their diseases with the help of medicinal plants, herbs, right? Right. So, in ancient yes. medical yes. science, it was. Uh, developed in India thousands of years ago. Now they are talking about thousands of years ago. बहुत बहुत सालों पहले, right? Ayurveda developed and evolved into what it is today from several ancient treatises, most notably a third Ved, which dates back to five five thousand years. So a third Ved is. You know, it dates back to how many years? It dates back to five thousand years. That means it was written five thousand years back. It was written five thousand years back, right? So Ayurveda was evolved into what it is today from several ancient treatises. Most notably, most notably means सबसे ज़्यादा जिस पे ध्यान जाना चाहिए क्योंकि उसमें से बहुत कुछ लिया हुआ है. This other way, and this way is written five thousand years back, right? So the ancient Vedic literature by sages has clearly laid out instructions to maintain health as well as fighting illness through therapies, massages, herbal medicines, diet control, and exercise. So during our ancient Vedic literature. Which is written by sages, right? At her, there are you know certain instructions that are clearly laid down in those uh, Vedic literature that we should maintain our health, as well as we should fighting illness and how they they should they were how they were uh, maintaining their health and how they were fighting illness. They were doing all this through therapies. Through massages, through herbal medicines, by diet control, by doing exercise, right? Here, Ayurveda. See, it is clearly shown here. Ayurveda. Ayu means time from birth to death. आपकी आयु कितनी है? आयु means age. जो पैदा होने से मरने तक के बीच का जो time होता है. <coughs> That is Ayur. Ayur means age. Age, yes. And Ved, Ved is knowledge, learning. So Ayur Ved, Ayur plus Ved, 
and when you talk about ayurved is swastha vritham athur vritham swastha vritham means preventive measures in health care preventive matlab कुछ ऐसी मेजर्स की नुकसान हो ही ना हमें बीमारी हो ही ना हमारी हेल्थ खराब हो ही नहीं ओके सो दीज आर प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स दैट कम्स अंडर स्वस्थ वृथम स्वस्थ वृथम अंडर स्वस्थ वृथम देर आर प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स एंड हेल्थ केयर टिप्स देन वेन यू टॉक अबाउट अथुर वृथम अथुर वृथम मीन्स क्यूरेटिव मेजर्स that means where cures are given right how to cure certain diseases certain problems right cure means ilaj okay now here the god of ayurveda picture is also given an image is given kindly see it in your book dhanvantri dhanvantri is the god of ayurveda Now, in classical Sanskrit literature, Ayurved was called the science of eight components, Ashtang. So, classical Sanskrit literature, जो है हमारा, उसमें ऐसा लिखा है कि Ayurved को बोला गया था, it was called, ऐसा माना जाता था कि science of eight components उसको बोलते थे, right? So, we call Ayurved the science of eight components. एंड एट कॉम्पोनेंट से ही नाम निकला है अष्टम ओके राइट क्योंकि संस्कृत में एट को क्या बोलते हैं सो आयुर्वेद स्टेट द बैलेंस ऑफ द थ्री एलिमेंटल सब्सटेंसेस द दो equals health while in balance equals disease there are three doshas is what pit and ka so ayurved says there is a balance of three element substances elemental substances means male main substances three main substances the balance of three substances is very important that is the doshas doshas equals doshas matlab क्या दोष किसके बराबर दोषास क्या है इक्वल हेल्थ वाइल इम्बैलेंस इक्वल डिजीज ओके सो दोषास इज हेल्थ प्लस इम्बैलेंस हेल्थ आपकी जैसी है और उसमें जो इम्बैलेंसेस है इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इट लीड्स टू डिजीज राइट And what are the three doshas? The three doshas are what, pit, and kaf. Now, what is what dosh? What dosh means what? Headache, dry skin, constipation, nervous anxiety, hypersensitivity, insomnia, premature aging. Umar se pehle age dikhna. Right. So these are what dosh. so all these things come under what dosh now pitt dosh jo pitt dosh hai matlab ulcers hote hain kisi ko zyada somebody have fever very often if you have fever acne problem is there acidity is there agitation problem of agitation is there you have a lot of anger in you you get angry very soon you know burns easily so then you have pit issues right then there is a pit dosh kaf kaf is respiratory element ailments if you have res, respiratory issues respiratory ailments then it comes under kaf dosh weight gain if your weight is gaining fluid retention fluid retention hai body mein retain matlab nikal nahi raha fluid pura आपकी बॉडी में रह जा रहा है रिटेंशन देर आर सर्टन एलर्जीज यू आर गोइंग टू योर फेसिंग म्यूकस एंड कंजेशन इफ यू हैव वेरी ऑफन दैट मीन्स दैट इज दफ दोष राइट सो देर आर थ्री दोष आर वट पिट एंड का ओके क्लियर दिस मच यस सो चिल्ड्रेन काइंडली गो काइंडली गो दीज दोष ओके 
Now in Ayurvedic theory, there are 20 qualities or characteristics. So when we talk about Ayurvedic theory, <clears throat> there are 20 qualities or 20 qualities ko kya bolte hai hindi mein? We call them gun. Gun of gun. Gun. Gun are qualities. So, <clears throat> there are 20 qualities and qualities are also known as characteristics. That is gun. Gunas. Which are inherent, inherent in all substances. Ayurvedic theory ke hisab se 20 characteristics ya 20 qualities hai, gun hai, jo <coughs> har substance mein se inherent hai. They can be arranged in 10 pairs of antonyms. Inko hum in qualities ko 10 pairs of antonyms mein arrange kar sakte hai. What do you mean by antonyms? Yes children, what do you mean by antonyms? Villon. Very good. Antonyms means opposites. So they can be arranged in 10 pairs of antonyms. That means if you, if something is heavy, the antonym of heavy is light. So it is a characteristic, right? Heavy, light. So somebody may be heavy, somebody may feel light. Somebody may feel cold, somebody may feel hot. Then, anxious, dry, dull, sharp, Stable, mobile, soft, hard, non-slimmy, slimmy, smooth, coarse, smoothest, something very smooth and coarse, jo khurdura hota hai. grass, sorry, minute. So, minute is minute. Grass and viscous liquid. Okay, so these are 20 characteristics, qualities, or gun, gunas, which we call them. So gunas, these are arranged in 10 pairs of antonyms because kisi ke positive quality hoti hai, kisi ko ki bad hoti hai. So there are, ye gun hai. Gun, achche bhi ho sakte hai, aur av gun, bure. So ye bol rahe hai, ye characteristics hai. Isi liye inhoonne yaha pe aur characteristics kiya. Because qualities to achchi hoti hai. Characteristics, characteristics can be positive as well as negative. Right? Now, Ayurvedic doctors regard physical and mental existence as well as personality as a unit. Each element having the capacity to influence the others. <coughs> so, Ayurvedic doctors they consider, they regard, they consider that physical and mental existence. Physical existence and mental existence. So physical and mental existence as well as personality as a unit. So kisi ki physical existence, uski mental existence kya hai kisi person ki? Or uski personality, overall personality kya hai? Each element having the capacity to influence the others. Ek cheese, ek element, dusre element ko influence karta hai. Agar koi physically disabled hai, to mentally usko, uska kuch to effect hoga. Maybe uska confidence kam ho, ya wo high moral wala person ho, wo usko positively leta ho. Agar kisi ko mentally kuch issues hai, to maybe usko uh, writing issues a jai. Right? So, Everything is linked. What Ayurveda says, what Ayurvedic doctors have regarded, they have considered that physical, mental existence as well as personality of individual as a unit, you know, is they have the capacity to influence others. One of the fundamental aspects of Ayurvedic medicine is to take this holistic approach into account during diagnosis and therapy. So, the fundamental aspect of any Ayurvedic medicine is that you have to take this holistic approach. Means you have to consider it that everything is related to each other and you, if you have any issue, you have to mention it to the doctor. Maybe it is related to your disease or not. 
before taking any medicine because ayurvedic doctors feel that everything is linked so that's why so during the diagnosis and therapy sessions you have to take it as holistic approach so you have to consider it all together and then uh, you know do the discussions with your doctor then only he or she will be able to diagnose your problems your issues properly and then give therapies accordingly okay ayurvedic medicine uses a variety of products and practices see ayurvedic is not limited it is huge it is vast you know it uses variety of products and variety of practices ayurvedic products can be made either of herbs or herbs only or combination of herbs metals minerals other materials wo kuch gold ka bhi aata hai gold dust dala hota hai usme then they uh, make something of the tulsi also then they have something of chandi also so they use metals also in it herbs also in it so it can be made either of herbs only खाली हर्ब से भी मेडिसिन बन सकती है और कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हर्ब्स मेटल्स मिनरल्स और अदर मटीरियल्स इन एन आयुर्वेदिक प्रैक्टिस कॉल्ड रस शास्त्र ओके सो अदर मिनरल्स दैट आर मेंशन इन रस शास्त्र एनी प्रोडक्ट एनी मटीरियल फ्रॉम दैट कैन बी यूज वाई प्रिपेयरिंग एनी आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन okay so they have not limited it to only herbs can be herbs it can be metals and minerals and other materials as well okay now there is a flow chart sort of a table here upkarm upkarm kya hai upkarm means treatment treatment is divided into Langan, langan or brimman. Langan is depleting and brimman is nourishing. Then depleting is again divided into purification. That is shodhan, safai ho rahi hai, purification ho raha hai, shodhan ho raha hai. Saman that is pacifying. Then purification is again it divided into vaman that is emesis, virachan that is purgation vasti that is enema nas that is nasal medication nasal uh, sorry nasal medication then rakt moksh that is blood letting then pachan it is used for digestives deepan it increase for di increasing digestive fire deepan deepan is you know can you connect it with deep jalana deepan so increasing digestive fire so shud that is hunger vyayam vyayam aap sabko pata hai vyayam kya hota hai aapki exercise hoti hai so exercises athak that is sunlight yes yes beta mam ye ek yoga ka type hai yes athak that is sunlight and marut that is wind okay these are different sorts of sound pacifying Okay. Then, according to some experts, the cleansing practices known as panchkarm is a therapeutic way of eliminating toxic elements from the body. So, आपके body के जो toxic elements हैं, उनको हटाना, उनको दूर करना. So, कुछ experts का कहना है कि एक क्लेंजिंग प्रैक्टिस है मतलब आपकी बॉडी से गंदगी को निकालने की प्रैक्टिस है जिसको हम बोलते हैं पंच कर्म वॉट वी कॉल दैट प्रैक्टिस पंच कर्म इट इज अरेपिक इट इज अ थेरेपी एंड इट इज अ वे ऑफ एलिमिनेटिंग टॉक्सिक एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द बॉडी बॉडी से टॉक्सिक एलिमेंट्स को हटाना पंच कर्म इंक्लूड वमन विरेचन बस्ती नस्य एंड रक्त मोशन रक्त मोक्ष rakt moksha panch karma is preceded by purva karma that is purva karma matlab preparatory step jo initially jo aapne step liya hoga preparatory step hoga usko and is followed by 
पश्चात कर्म एंड पैदी कर्म और उसके बाद क्या होता है पश्चात कर्म एंड पैदी कर्म सो दीज आर टेक्निकल वर्ड्स राइट ओके नाउ डिड यू नो या एवरीबडी नोज वेन इज योगा डे सेलिब्रेटेड इन इंडिया वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व द योगा डे when do you all do yoga and all do yes it is yes so it's national day of yoga is celebrated annually on 21st june since its inception in 2015 so the inception of yoga day was done in which year 2015 yes 2015 So since 2015, every year on 21st June, Yoga Day, International Yoga Day, is celebrated. Right? Yoga can contribute in a holistic way to achieving an equilibrium between mind and body. Yoga kya hai? Aapka equilibrium, mind or body ka balance. That is yoga. it is believed that this approach to health and well being can make a direct and useful contribution to human kind's quest to achieve sustainable development and move towards life style data and harmony with nature so aisa mana jata hai it is believed that ye jo yog aapki approach hai health ke liye aap jo yoga karte hain fit rehne ke liye ये वेल बींग के लिए अपने ये बहुत ही यूजफुल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है ह्यूमन काइंड का जो क्वेस्ट है जो हम बहुत ज्यादा डेवलपमेंट चाहते हैं राइट right? जो सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट हो जो लॉन्गर पीरियड के लिए हो सिर्फ थोड़े टाइम के लिए डेवलपमेंट ना हो सो फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड मूव टूवर्ड्स लाइफ स्टाइल दैट आर इन हार्मनी विद नेचर सो इट इज लाइक यू नो यू आर कनेक्टिंग विद नेचर and if you are doing if you are achieving sustainable development through yoga that means it is very beneficial for you your body will be relaxed your mind will be relaxed you will feel comfortable you will not have anxiety issues you will solve the anger issues will be solved and you can achieve greater heights अगर आपको पीस ऑफ माइंड है आप किसी प्रॉब्लम से बाहर आज कोई प्रॉब्लम है आपको कोई स्ट्रेस है आपने योग से मेडिटेशन से उस चीज से बाहर आ गए कम आउट ऑफ इट ऑब्वियसली इफ यू हैव पीस ऑफ माइंड यू कैन वर्क राइट इट विल हेल्प यू इन बेटर स्टडीज इन बेटर वर्क यू डू मोर ऑफ हार्ड वर्क देन इज इट इट ये नो Yes, ma'am. Yes, and since you are doing yoga, that means you are connected with nature, right? You are connected with nature. You are breathing fresh air in. You are breathing fresh air out, isn't it? Breathing fresh air in and breathing mm. impure. Your under se jo breathe out, you are breathing out. Yes. Inhale yes, and exhale. करते हो आप. Yes, करते हैं हाँ तो नेचर को फील करते हो अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग इफ यू गो फॉर अ वॉक फ्रेश एयर जब आपके अंदर लग रहा है आपके खुल जाती है यू फील फ्रेश आप बोलते वाओ आज तो बहुत अच्छा लगा राइट इज इट इट यस और नो सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी ऑल शुड गो फॉर मॉर्निंग वॉक वी ऑल शुड गो फॉर मॉर्निंग वॉक हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गो फॉर मॉर्निंग वॉक Ma'am, I take meditation classes regularly. Very good, very good. How many of you go for morning walk? You all should go for morning walk. It uh, keeps you connected. Ma'am, I take. Uh, I take regularly too, ma'am. Okay, I'm very good. Uh, also regularly go. The morning walks, you know, the walks keep you connected to the nature and you stay fit also, right? It is for your well-being. your physical and mental well being right yes ma'am okay yes ma'am okay and okay children now uh, page number 70 is stop 
check and go this is your homework because we have already done from page number 42 to 69 so it is just a test so go through yeah, which page number page number 70 the next page <clears throat> page number 70 is stop check and go so these questions are based on page 42 to 69 right so kindly do these questions page number 70 71 And seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-two is IQ challenge. So seventy-two, seventy-three, IQ challenge four is your homework. Okay. <clears throat> so okay, in man. next, so in next GK period, I will discuss your homework. Okay, so your homework, I have given you a lot of homework. Page seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four. So from page seventy. Till page seventy four is your homework, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, 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 